Hello and welcome. I hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we are going to talk about books. And our book today is the book I selected for the green spin of the color wheel and it is For Lamb by Lisa Klein Ransome. This is YA historical fiction and it takes place in the 1940s in the Jim Crow South. It's a place and a time where it was completely legal to discriminate against black women, men, and children. Lamb lives with her mother and her brother. Her father does not live with the family, and Lamb isn't sure where he is. Her brother Simeon has big plans. He is in his last year of high school, and then he's headed up north to attend college. Lamb also dreams of going to college, but they are both going to have to make it through high school before they can live those dreams. Simeon wants to fight against the injustices they deal with right now. His mother just wants them to successfully get through high school and get through any difficulties they may encounter. She keeps reminding them that things are not perfect anywhere. The story is told from multiple characters' alternating perspectives, including Lamb, Simeon, and their mother. Lamb's life gets very complicated very quickly when she befriends a white girl, and neither of their families is aware of the friendship at first. A good thing about reading this book is that you learn the difficulties of growing up black in the Jim Crow South. They were discriminated against in large and insidious ways. When Simeon goes to the eye doctor, and the eye doctor mistakenly calls him Simon, Simeon politely corrects him, but the eye doctor goes off on Simeon and insists on calling him Simon and making a big deal out of it. It is very much intended to dehumanize Simeon and his family and is humiliating to experience and witness. Four Lamb is a heartbreaking story that is valuable to read. Throughout all she endures, Lamb remains hopeful. What are some other stories to read that will help you experience the world from the viewpoint of black Americans? We are going to start with The Beautiful Struggle by ta Coates. It's his story of growing up in Baltimore, Maryland. ta was often not the person his family thought he should be. He was too often in his head and did not fully consider the consequences of his actions. ta father had the expectation for his children that they would contribute to their community. And he had a tough love approach to parenting. Tanahasi's mother's more intellectual approach, like writing essays as a consequence of wrongdoing, seems to have had a huge impact on his eventual career. The Beautiful Struggle, a memoir, is an eye-opening book that shows the value of interacting with and contributing to our communities. Ain't Burned All the Bright by Jason Reynolds and Jason Griffin. And this is a mashup of art and poetry. It tells the story of a young black teen living through the events of the summer of 2020. His dad is sick and isolating in his room. His sister is angry and dealing with injustices in the only way that she knows. And his mom is glued to the news on the television. In the midst of his family, he's alone and isolated. The story poem is engaging. The artwork is amazing. It's a book I highly recommend that you read if you have not yet read it. And our third book is Punching the Air by Evie Zaboy and Yusuf Salam. It's the story of Amal, an artist and poet. He's viewed as disruptive by his teachers and the administration at his high school. When Amal is involved in an altercation, he is convicted of a crime he did not commit. Everyone who is supposed to help him views him through the lens of the school administration. So they think they know what he's thinking. 
they think they know what he believes and they think they know what his interests are. So his lawyer helping to expand his vision actually suggests books for Amal to read that Amal has already read. Filled with despair and rage at the situation that he's in, Amal almost gives in to those feelings. Instead, he turns to art and poetry to express himself. It's a profound story of a young man's ability to maintain his humanity in a system that's trying to take it away. And there we are. I hope that you enjoyed this look at Four Lamb, and I hope that you will give one or all of these books a read. We will be back very soon with my next book, which is An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahira Mafi. I hope that you will join me then, and until then, I hope that you continue to enjoy all that you do and all that you read. And thank you!